here we have the 2022 Eastgate. For 2022, we've got quite a few changes. The bike now features a new command switch shared across the EPU and Eastgate range. Selecting through the maps, we've got green 125, blue 200, red 250. The Eastgate also features traction control so that when you get into difficulty and uh, the rear wheel will normally spin, it's now just going to grip and pull you through. So, of course, we've got new improved battery software this year, new reinforced belt for a stronger transmission of power and new settings in the fork and rear shock. For 2022, EM have been working hard on the power delivery. Now I've got the power softer and smoother at the bottom, but then revving out harder at the top, so a higher RPM. The traction control is also a key feature for the Eastgate model. So you activate that by pressing the button here. It flashes to indicate the traction control is on. And let's put it in red mode and just show you. So if I go from nothing to flat out, obviously the air, rear wheel's in the air, so it thinks it's spinning. And just look how slow the power comes in, then it slowly progresses. If I now turn the traction control off, there's a big difference. If I go full power, uh, to really keep hold of the handlebar there, as the power is so much, it would pull it off and be flying across the shore if you're not careful. <laughs> so you can imagine when you get into difficulty and you're not so delicate on the throttle. Uh, the traction control really works to just bring that power in smooth and get that traction and pull you out. Um, it's also got the regenerating brake, so you can pull that in as you're going down a hill and it regenerates the power through the motor and back into the battery. So it's an alternative to the rear brake. It means that you can get long distance when you're going up and down the hills and really utilise the bike's features. On 2022, it's also got new brake discs, a new rear sprocket, and as mentioned before, the new suspension settings, which really improve how the bike handles. And with a seat height of 820 millimetres, you know, it's a bike that can suit uh, nearly all riders. The seat's nice and comfortable, and the power is very, very forgiving. The Escape also has the capability to fit an option called the Schoolboy Map, which limits the power by 50%, which means that green would then turn something similar to a, a 50cc, blue would be like an 80cc, and red like 100cc. So for those coming into the off-road world who want a bike that's not too intimidating, it really makes a massive difference and, and you know, uh, that means that uh, the throttle control doesn't have to be as sensitive and uh, you know, it really inspires confidence. There are other extras available as well, such as a fast charger, uh, which cuts the charging time down from 4 hours 15 from flat to full to around 2 hours 15. So it does mean there's a possibility for a longer ride where the battery maybe won't last. You could take the charger in your backpack and charge it up at a cafe or a charging point. The range on the back is 61 kilometres as standard, quoted by electric motion. Also for 22, it's got the new steering stops, which allow for a greater turning circle. And it also has a new stylish headlight as well. Now available at Inch Perfect Trials.